Hi, Peter Charles here from to Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a fly called the Purple Sundowner. It's an interesting pattern uh, in that it uses a, a palmered hackle over the body and the body's divided up into silver and orange. The orange is fluorescent, which is interesting. But the, the thing I think that's most important for us is this is the first time I'm going to be tying tinsel over a tail in this series. Normally when we tie a tag, we're tying it underneath the tail. This time we're going to be tying it over, so it introduces an extra element in the way this fly gets put together. So let's get started in looking at the material of the Purple Sundowner. The hook we're going to use is a size 2 salmon single. Our thread is an 8 aught Vivas in black. Our tail and our collar is purple schlappen. The rear third of the body is uni Mylar, uh, size 14 gold silver, and we're going to be using the silver side. The pommering is a saddle hackle, purple saddle. The body is uni yarn in a fluorescent orange. And the wing is pearlescent crystal flash. The original pattern used white uh, calf tail. You can use both, you know, either one, whatever suits you. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I'll stop about there. We're going to be doing a third of the body at the back end, so we want some room. Okay, we need some schlappen for the uh, tail. You can see that you need fairly long barbs to pull this off. You can't use, you know, short barbs uh, and then try to wind it in the fashion that I'm going to be doing it because you'd run out of material. And now we tie in our mylar gold side up. Now we keep that all together and tie neatly back to the hook point. Now come forward. Now begin wrapping your tinsel. Okay, next we're going to tie in our uh, Palmer hackle, and you notice I've trimmed one side of this feather. I don't want this hackling to be too dense, so I've taken some off. I'm going to cut a tying in point. Couple of wraps to hold that will do. Now for our orange, uh, fluorescent orange yarn. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this back onto the silver and going to judge the body. There we go. Wind forward. Okay, we've got a bump there, so we start with the tight wraps till we get off the bump. Now back off. Bring that up to the return, maybe a little, just a little bit more onto the return. Then come back, come back at an angle, then take the angle off. That way we taper the body. Now we get to here, we start tightening up, tapering. And then take the angle off so it fills up the body quite nicely. And then taper down. Just to point out, if you look at my yarn bodies, you'll always see me tapering the front off because if you make it very blocky, it'll cause that wing to kick up at an angle. And uh, I don't like my wing sticking up in the air. Okay, now, now it's the time to start palmering. And you can see by using just half the feather, you get this nice ethereal looking hackle. We've got a little bit too much. I'm going to back off and take a couple of those off. There we go. It's a good way to measure. Now I got one that's starting to trap. Let's pull it out of the way. There we go. 
we got one stray in there. We'll just take that off. Okay, now time for the crystal flash wing. Take off at least half a dozen strands. Don't be shy with the crystal flash. We got about the halfway point. Tie that in, fold it over. Okay, we want the wing to be roughly the length of the tail. Let's come in and nip that. Now's the time for our schlappen. We're not going to put a ton of schlappen on here. Um, you've already got a lot of uh, saddle hackle already, so again, we've stripped part of the feather. Just cut a tying in point. This is getting tied in as a collar, which means it goes in, in front of the wing, not behind the wing. If you see those terms used, collar is usually refers to tying your hackle in front of the wing. And when you talk about a hackling a fly, you're usually talking about tying it in behind the wing. So if you see those two terms, that's what it means. I'm going to push that hackle back a little bit and just put some wraps right there just to cause that hackle to lean backwards. Put some soft wraps at the back. Come forward. Whip finish. And finally for some head cement. There we go, our purple sundowner. It's an attractive pattern. I think it'll do quite well, and especially on a dull day where you want that fluorescent orange body to really glow. So give it a thought to any time you're looking at an overcast day, you know, pull this one out of the fly box and give it a try. And with all that palmering, with the, the soft schlappen and, and the stiff uh, cock saddle hackle, that thing should really vibrate in the water, and, and that crystal flash should be just fluttering like mad. I think it'd be a very attractive pattern. So give it a try, the purple sundowner. Cheers.